Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Evangelism is simple when we develop friendship. Some of us went out yesterday. There is a way you will approach somebody. First, say somebody will pay attention. There is also a way you will approach somebody. The person will look at you and say, are you okay? Are you normal? Character. Then he saw them. He saw them in, in a very terrible mood. Two prisoners. He's a prisoner. He said, you don't look good this morning. Is anything okay? They said, we had a dream. Favor from men will locate you when you position yourself to be a solution to the problems of men. How can you be a solution to people that you don't pay attention to? Or they say we had a dream. And they told him the dreams. He said, okay. This is interpretation. Three days from now, you will be released. You, three days from now, your head will be off. Bad interpretation for one, good interpretation for another. He said to the one that had good interpretation, he said, when you get to the palace, they will restore you back to your original position. Because whoever carries the cup of the king is always with the king. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. He said, when you get there, remember me. And time passed. The guy didn't remember him. Until God said, okay, it's time to remember Joseph. And Pharaoh had a dream. And the dream, he doesn't know the interpretation. And God made all astrologers, all magicians, none of them could give the interpretation of the dream. Until Joseph was brought out of the prison. He was not looking, he was not looking to, be for, to be a king. But he had access. Can I hear somebody say access? Prisoners don't have access to king. For a prisoner to leave prison and go and arrive at Asurok, let me say that prisoner must be a different prison. Listen. He had access. I pray for you this morning. My, may God give you access to authorities. Yeah. What carried him to King Pharaoh was his character. Not even necessarily gifts. It was his character. If there was no good relationship between him and the butler, the butler would still forget. He would recommend him. The butler knows the implication of what he was saying. That there is a prisoner who can interpret the, 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 the king's uh, 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 dream. That means the prisoner is coming out of prison. He knows the implication. But because there was a relationship, many favors from God has eluded God's people because of wrong character. I was saying to somebody recently, I said, faithfulness is the greatest cast commodity I am seeing. Faithfulness. Faithfulness. If you see anybody faithful, cherish the person. No. Cherish the person. One of my girls working in one of my outfit, if you see her, she is holiness personified. Sometimes when I'm approaching here, I'm very careful because she doesn't smile. She doesn't smile. She's always very, very serious. You see her, she's just walking as though she cannot match anything in, we can kill any ant. Faithfulness. 
She embezzled four million. She's from one of our branches. For me, she chop them up. Chop them. Chop and close eye. Then one begin to wonder if a believer cannot be faithful, who then will be faithful? Is anybody listening to me? <laughs> There are still Christians, that is my belief. There are still Christians who are faithful. There are still Christians who want to go to heaven. You know, when I say it to you, you, you get angry. I say everybody is a thief. Until proved otherwise. Until you are exposed where you have opportunity to steal and you refuse to steal, then you are not a thief. Good character gives you access to men and you activate favor when you appear before men that carry favor and carry dignity. Character consists of integrity, honesty, humility, truthfulness, and faithfulness. Look at Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. Proverbs 22, 29. Seest thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean what? Men. That is another thing that stands you before men. Diligence and competence. <laughs> Diligence and what? Competence. Skillfulness. Excellence will give you access to men of repute. Diligence. If the food is not good and it's not sweet, no matter the charm you do, people will not eat. Is this Tastefulness of a restaurant, the food in a restaurant that drives people to the place. It is the diligence and excellence displayed in serving people that attract customers. And one of the customers that comes, God has bestowed favor and given the person favor to give to you. And that favor may come in form of information. The favor may come in form of what? information and how you treat the customer some of our little businesses are, are suffering because of the way we handle customers you don't need to lie as a seamstress as a, a fashion designer you don't need to lie tell people the truth let people know that you are a Christian teller that if I tell you to come and collect your clothes on Friday, I mean Friday. Instead, yeah, I will miss the Friday. I will go and look for where I will do it and maintain my integrity. This is another, every teller is a liar. You should exempt yourself. Can I hear somebody say amen? Amen. As a carpenter, the, what will expose you? You don't need to die as a carpenter. You can go to somewhere and walk. The man will look at you and say, you stop this walk. Let me give you something better to do. I so trust you. You know why some people are succeeding in this business of cooking food for people, go to their house and cook? Some succeed, some don't succeed. Because the man knows what he gave you to buy. You use half of it to buy it. When he finished eating it, he said, this one will not return to this house. Am I communicating? Yes, sir. This grace transmits favor to you. 
But your character has made fav- grace and favor to be useless. The problem is not from God. No. Excellence. Be excellent in whatever you are doing. It will attract men. Be diligent in what you are doing. It will attract people. There are people that, that they want excellence. It is what you do with what you are doing that separates you from everybody who is doing the same thing. If you are selling Akamu and the container you are using to sell Akamu is so dirty, the Akamu is clean, there are people that will not buy from you. Am I communicating? If you are selling the best crayfish and selling the best fish, but you look so dirty, even your hand has rashes, there are people that will not touch the fish. Even though it's the best fish in the market, they will not come for it. Because you don't value the health of the people. Your vegetable is very green. But the tray where the vegetable is, is so dirty. There are people that will not buy from you. Excellence. Diligence. In whatever. He said, see us down a man. Diligent. In what he's doing. A man that is excellent in what he's doing. Strive to be excellent. Strive to be exceptional. Everybody is doing it, yes. But mine is different. That will attract favor to you because the favor is in men. I hate when something is done shabbily. I hate it. I hate when you dress shabbily to the office. I wanted to beat my boy one day. To, I wanted to give him mama's kind of slap, mommy bishop slap. Wah! Because when I look at what he was wearing, even on Sunday, I wanted to beat him up. You should look at me. I'm dressed well. Don't be a follower of a lion and behave like an antelope. Another lion will eat you. Somebody say, I hear. Excellent in character. Diligent. That was what Joseph did in Potiphar's house. That he left everything for him. That's what he did in the prison. That the prison has committed everything to his hand. And when he appeared, if you cannot be diligent with the little, nobody will make you the boss, the manager of a great thing. God looked at it. And now saw Joseph qualified to be the prime minister, and Pharaoh said to him, you know what? The only way I'm bigger than you is the throne. I will just sit on the throne. Now take my ring, put it in your hand. Whatever you say is final. Nobody enters Egypt without your permission. Not even my permission. And nobody leaves Egypt without your permission. Who? A slave. Number three things that gives you access to men give you access to men of repute. It's your gift of value. Proverbs 18, verse 16. Proverbs 18, verse 16. A man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. Potentials or talents that are not worked upon, not improved, cannot produce value. It is potentials worked upon. It is value you have labored night and day to improve on. I wrote a, a new book since last year, and I refused to publish it because certain things I needed in the book are not in place. 
It was edited, yet I couldn't publish it until I have spent some time to go through. Do not be in a hurry to produce a product. Thank you.